Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, get free shipping and free 365 days to return on most orders. You know, changeovers are the calm in the midst of the storm of the match. The ITF rules of tennis allow a maximum of 90 seconds for changeovers, except at the end of sets when you get 120 seconds. And boy, a lot can happen in that short time. It's a time to fire up or calm down, to meditate or aggravate. Think about it. Changeovers can be cathartic. They can cause conflict or just get completely crazy. So we thought we'd revisit the craziest changeover moments of the 2016 season. Starting in Istanbul, where in the final, Grigor Dimitrov absolutely self-destructed. Grigor told chair umpire Mohamed Layani, watch this, before obliterating his third racket. And the display resulted in his default for a third code violation. At this week's WTA finals, Svetlana Kuznetsova decided to trim her hair during a changeover. And you know, it's not the first time we've seen this one. Remember Andy Murray at the ATP World Tour Finals last November? He decided he needed a trim. Novak Djokovic likes to blow off a little steam during his changeovers. How about Rome? Novak was upset about the slick conditions during a soggy final, and he pressed his case during the changeover. It's not raining now. I mean, it's not raining. Yeah. It wasn't like it wasn't raining for an hour, it right? It was. But now the court is fine. And there is no consequences on the court, right? It's all wet. The lines are not slippery. In this kind you of rain, say, I, right? You could judge. In this kind of rain, I don't think there's any consequences. In this kind of rain, it was raining for an hour, my friend. Now it's not raining. Now it's dripping. But it was raining for an hour. Okay. I and keep, I keep saying that I don't think that the court is dangerous. I think that the court is playable. We're trying to help cleaning the court every changeover. In Shanghai earlier this month, Nole smashed his racket. He shred his shirt and then got into this changeover debate with chair umpire Carlos Bernardes. Not the problem. The no, it's not the change the record so because your action, you delay him to serve. Your action when they do this with the shirt, delay him to serve. If it happens in a normal play, I will not say anything to you. For some players, the changeover is a time to vent. How about a stressed out Garbina Muguruza sarcastically snapping at coach Sam Sumik during a changeover in Doha? Try. Garbiñe tira la botella, el entrenador se va, Muguruza terminó perdiendo el partido y quizás algo más. You know, sometimes the intensity of match play spills over into the changeover. How about this moment at Wimbledon, when the normally very gentle Juan Martín del Potro told Lucas Puyi to shut up during a changeover. Seems Juan Martin was angry because he thought Lucas incorrectly influenced a call against him. It was nearly a decade ago, Tommy Haas starred as a tennis Hamlet, delivering this soliloquy that has become a changeover classic of self-criticism and determined motivation. And then there are times when champions just want some quiet time alone. Serena Williams. She made that pretty clear to chair umpire Kyder Nooney, who asked Serena to be more expressive when challenging, prompting this exchange in Miami. Don't pick on me. I'm sick of you picking on me. It's always something. I'll give In fact, unless you're giving me a warning, don't, don't, don't talk to me. You believe it? Bernard Tomic played the blame game during a Davis Cup changeover, blasting his teammate Nick Kyrgios for faking an illness to sit out Australia's Davis Cup loss to the USA. Unfortunately, though, for Bernie, courtside microphones picked up every word of his rant. <laughs> Earlier this month, Nick Kyrgios imploded in this infamous tank job in Shanghai, prompting chair umpire Ali Nili to remind Kyrgios tanking is not permitted in the pros. Well, the rest of the game you're doing well. Thank you. 
And as you can imagine, Roger Federer has seen it all during changeovers. Sometimes he just has some fun, like this moment when he chuckled watching Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon dancing in the stands during the 2015 U.S. Open. Or how about the time in Madrid last year when he was frustrated by some missed calls and the antics of Nick Kyrgios. Federer struck a sarcastic shot. He says we need a clown for this circus. We need a clown for the circus. And what about this one? Changing clothes on the court during a changeover. Now we've seen a lot of the guys do this, but not the ladies. Tamia Basinski pulled off an Indian Wells first, changing her dress right there on the court during her second round victory last March. It's 3 a.m. Do you know where your shorts are? That was the question confronting Rafa Nadal in Rio last year. When chair umpire Carlos Bernardes would not let Nadal leave the court to change his shorts, Rafa wrapped a towel around his waist and changed on court right as the fans roared. Nadal's actually running to change his shorts. So I think this is what's going on here. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this before? This is a new one at just a minute shy of 3 a.m. This is like a Sports Illustrated swimsuit shoot. <laughs> and they put the towel around the model. And this is delighting the Brazilian crowd. <laughs> this is why they hang around for 3 a.m. No complaints here. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed these entertaining changeovers. Any we missed, let us know. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now. We need a clown for the circus.